All right, let's talk about wind. Wind, what is wind? It's simply a movement of air, just like currents are a movement of water. And winds come about when we have differences in pressure in two locations. High pressure to low pressure, winds will blow from where the pressure is higher to where the pressure is lower. Think about blowing up a balloon. You're pressurizing air. When you let go of that balloon, the air doesn't rush into the balloon, it rushes out of the balloon because you're going from a high pressure situation to a low pressure situation. When you let the air out of your parents' tires when you're a kid, you're going from high pressure to low pressure. Well, the atmosphere is the same way, and in fact, the ocean is the same way. Regions of high pressure next to regions of low pressure will cause flows of wind or flows of air or flows of water from the region of high pressure to the region of low pressure. And that manifests itself on the surface of our planet as wind. Now, when wind collides with water, you have air molecules flying through the air. That's probably redundant or something. And they're colliding with water molecules where we have where the air and the sea meet. It's just like billiards when the cue ball hits another ball and so on and so forth. Air molecules colliding with water molecules. In doing so, they impart some of their energy, the energy of that collision, to the water. And it's not quite an exchange of uh, just of kinetic energy. It's also an exchange of something called momentum, the ability of something to resist being moved. And that's not so important for the purposes of our class, but just that you understand that the energy of movement, the kinetic energy of air molecules colliding with water molecules is exchanging energy. So wind energy is going into the ocean. And as it goes into the ocean, there's several different things that can happen to that energy. But let me just define a word here. It's that motion of the wind across the surface of the ocean that transfers energy across the surface of the ocean from the atmosphere to the ocean that's called surface wind stress. That surface wind stress can, I'm just going to jump ahead here, that surface wind stress can provide energy. Some of that energy goes into something called turbulence, the chaotic mixing of a fluid. It can actually cause a type of stirring as a result. Some of that wind energy also goes into the formation of waves. And as we'll talk about in chapter 10, that movement of energy through the ocean is what we're looking at when we look at waves. We're not actually looking at water moving as waves. And we'll, again, we'll talk more about that when we talk about waves. So waves are another way that energy is transferred or energy, another example of energy transfer between the atmosphere and the ocean. The wind also causes the water to move a little bit in the form of currents. And in our next chapter, we'll talk about wind-driven circulation of the ocean. And so some of that, and some of that energy can do, will just disappear as heat. So energy of wind into the ocean causes waves, it causes currents, it causes mixing. And how that energy is divided up depends on some complex properties of the ocean that we're not going to talk about here. But again, it's a very important property in the ocean because mixing, of course, is going to be important for productivity and for the transfer of gases and other things across the air-sea interface. Waves, of course, are important for a lot of different reasons, not the least of which is surfing. And, of course, currents are important for reasons we'll talk about as well in a few minutes.